welcome back to my channel so today i want to show you how i juice and also making lunch so i'm making a bunless burger with some for the roasted roasted chips yeah so really sunday so i hope you guys enjoy and let's go Hey guys, so I'm done making my bunless burger. This was the last, but the reason why I don't want to use like bread or like a bun or anything like that is because I'm trying to limit that consumption. So hopefully you can try it. I'll let you know. It was the yummy I've made was one before, so I know it will taste yummy.
So I'm done. So we have this. So this one was the watermelon, which was the main ingredients. Another one. Another one. So this one is the carrots and uh, the oranges and the grapefruits. Another watermelon. So much juice. Pineapple, cucumber, turmeric. And the final one would have been the green. So this one, was, which is good for me. Whew. So this is week two. Just finished eating my lunch. This is week two of juicing. Juicing is messy, guys. <laughs> but uh, I, have, I need to make peace with the fact that it's messy. Um, but I'm grateful that I can choose. So just cultivate a habit of consistency, even when it's not looking pretty. Because another thing that could happen is you can get discouraged the amount of work it takes to get to what you try to do. But I'm sure with time, just like I did with the smoothies, I will get used to it. It won't be as um, hectic as it is currently right now. So I'm just going to put that in the fridge. And yeah, I'm going to bring them throughout the week. Week two of juicing. Stay consistent, stay healthy. Peace. share today um, that I really liked through the, the church at the service so the the title of the service was chaos and order something like that chaos in order something like that but I was just looking at how Jesus is always finding opportunity in the midst of chaos I think that's how he works you know at the end of the day it's for us to see who he is it's for his glory this mess so in Genesis 1, it says that um, God was hovering around the, the, the dark, you know, the dark deep waters and so forth. And then he said, let there be light. Really so, trying to see an opportunity in the midst of chaos. We're in a new year. A lot of things are not looking like they're making sense in our country, in our world. Just to find opportunity in the midst of the chaos. An opportunity even when the lights go out to change your mouth because the power of the time you know the lord's word is very it's principle you know it's about principles so it's not just about how you feel it's also about what you say with your mouth and what you agree with so our mouth has the ability to to expand just things limit things so we need to speak light in the midst of any situation that we find ourselves in and really just um <clears throat> Being a force as Christians, we can't just be as we embrace the, the new year and the years to come uh, because it, it's going to get crazier. You know, the world is getting crazier. And it's not to say that we need to dim down our light. That's when we need to raise up a standard. You know, when the spirit of, you know, heaviness comes, we need to raise up a standard. So I will link up the message from church on my description. I hope it blesses you.